Hello friends, thank you for watching this video. The goal of this video is to show you that in less than 10 minutes I made a portable power pack or some will call it a solar generator from 25 amp hour lithium batteries I ordered from AliExpress and a 50 caliber ammo can. So with that being the goal, the goal of this video is not to show you exactly how lithium cells work or any of the details, the, the, the gory details of how to build up a battery pack. I am going to include some of those details because it is useful and you have to know what you're getting into. And I'll throw in a few pictures of the builders as I go through. But sit back, this is going to take about nine minutes and hopefully it'll be uh, enlightening to you and give you the confidence you need to uh, start your own build. This morning I'm going to take a uh, 3.2 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries and show you how I took them, processed them, and made them into a 12 volt battery bank. This 12 volt battery bank is, would be 25 amp hours. It'd be very useful for powering all kinds of 12 volt appliances in an emergency. Uh, and uh, basically these are the same 12 volt battery cells that you'd see in anything of that capacity. Uh, they package them in different ways but they all come from China. I bought these four from Alibaba.com. took about 90 days to receive them because they can't fly and they have to come by boat. But I'm going to take these batteries, this battery management computer, uh, the wires that are associated with that, and uh, that monitor the battery and balance it during charging, the shunt, the uh, display that will show you total capacity of the battery as it's charging and discharging, and then there'll be a few of the little accessories that you have on any solar uh, charger or battery pack, so an on-off switch, some USB ports, 12 volt port, and just a voltage monitor there as well. I'm going to take all these components and build them up into a package. Now these batteries come 3.2 volts a piece. Uh, they should come to you fully charged. There shouldn't be a lot you'd have to do to them other than put them together into the 12 volt bank. But unfortunately that's not the case always. So what you need to do is you need to take them, put them in parallel, and uh, do what they call top balancing. If you're not sure what top balancing means, uh, you can look it up on Google. There's a lot of videos on it out there as well. But basically you'll put them in parallel. Let's take a 3.6 volt power supply. Now this one's adjustable. I got it set up to 3.6 volts. I'll put the current up to its 10 volt of maximum. I'll hook it up and just let it go at 3.6 volts until it continues to charge and eventually it won't draw any current and I'll turn it off. I've already done that so I'll spare you from those details. Uh, but these are top balanced at this point and I'm going to uh, start connecting them up and make a battery bank out of them. All right, well, I got this thing built up now. I went ahead and uh, I soldered up all the wires. As you can see, um, these are the battery uh, management wires here. This is the shunt, which is a smart shunt and also controls this display right here. And uh, you can see I've got all the wires kind of uh, all just kind of tie wrapped. So this thing still has to be packaged. I'll package this thing in a box and I'll include the, uh, this monitor with it and the USB ports. I have to have a little switch that will switch the power on and off to this smart shunt uh, because there'll be a parasitic drain with that to drain the battery on its own. So I'm going to have that in a relay to add. And uh, right now though what I'd like to do is I've, I've already top balanced it and built it all up. It's all soldered together. At this point right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a, uh, a load to it and do a load test. This uh, smart monitor here will tell me how many amp hours and how long it takes to drain it. I want to see if this thing has the 25 hours, <clears throat> excuse me, amp hours of capacity it's supposed to have. Okay, so I skipped the uh, capacity test, didn't want to bore you with that, but I did get the full 25 amp hours. These series of pictures here are just showing you the uh, inverter I took apart and put in here and some of the wiring process that I went through as I uh, put this thing together. So anyway, it's all together in the next part here and uh, I'll give you some more details. Okay, so I got the 25 amp hour uh, solar generator or power box, whatever you want to call it, uh, all built up. Just a real quick tour around the front of it. Um, you can see this is the master power on and off. When I hit this button here, it all comes on. Uh, you'll see uh, the voltage display here. <laughs> Funny thing is that little switch light already burned out, so I'm going to get a new one of those. I've got a 12 volt jack on the front here, normal cigarette lighter. It's good for 15 amps. I've got two USB ports. Uh, these are fuses. These are the fuses for these two ports here, so I can change them there. 300 watt pure sign inverter, and uh, flip the switch there. It comes on. You can hear the fan that's running over on this side. This port here is for uh, 12 volts out or uh, uh, solar in. Um, and then you can see that uh, up on top here, I have the, uh, the meter that monitors the state of charge and all that kind of stuff. 
So this is it pretty much in a nutshell. It's a 50, 50 uh, caliber ammo can. Um, I am going to eventually put a uh, jack on the front. I have a 14 or 15 amp, uh, excuse me, 10 amp, 14.6 volt power supply coming that will fit down inside here as well. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, and that will be used for quick charging the lithium cell if I'm not don't have access to uh, you know a DC battery charger. But uh, there, I, when I got all done here, I noticed the room up there, and I think I'm going to add that. Uh, in any case, so to get inside this thing, and, and I got to wrap and clean all the wires up in here, so don't be too critical. Um, but this is the battery. Uh, it sits in here. I have two automotive relays. This little switch down here uh, obviously can't switch all that current. So I put two of them, one for the inverter, it's a, a 40 amp relay, and then I've got a 40 amp relay for everything else. Way overkill, but I didn't want to run 20 amps to that little switch, and, and it wouldn't be enough anyway. Here's a 25 amp battery, the shunt, uh, all the wiring back in here, you can see there's quite a bit. The inverter's down in there. I've got a little insulator pad that'll go in there, um, but you can see all this uh, room I have up front, uh, and that's where I'm going to put the 14.6 uh, the, uh, volt 10 amp power supply in. Uh, that will quick charge these lithium batteries. But that's it in a nutshell. So what I do is I'm going to wait till I get that. Uh, uh, and I'll put it in and I'm going to go in here and put the insulators in and then uh, put some foam in to kind of seal all this up. But I wanted to get this so I could show it to you. So it all fits in there just fine. Again, there's a Best Tech a 300 watt uh, pure sign inverter in there that I, I took out of its case. And I uh, used its pieces here and here and then the switch and the light. This is the fault light for that. So all the same things that you'd have on that, I just kind of dismantled and put in here. It's all hooked up, uh, powered through that relay. Uh, and then uh, I have one switch that powers it all on right here. And the reason why I do that is because the display and all that will have some parasitic drain on the batteries. And I wanted to make sure that I could hit one switch and kill everything. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, that's just the best way to do it. So that's why I put the relays in. Uh, because uh, when I do that, I want everything positive disconnected from here. So uh, I'll have no drain. But anyway, so the uh, cover goes back down. I think when I get this all situated, I'll probably just put a lock on it, uh, you know, or something to seal it up so people can't get in there. Really no need to get in there once it's all done. Um, but I've got a little bit more finish work to do on sealing up around here and a few things. But this is it. Uh, I have about, uh, I want to say roughly $200 in this thing. Um, including the inverter at this point. Um, and, uh, you know, a similar uh, capacity with 25 amp hours, if you figure out the watt hours, I don't have that on the top of my head, I'll put it on the screen. But basically, uh, it, it's, it's more than a, uh, your average Jack or Yeti would be, and they'd be in about the four, 400 range uh, for something like that. But the other thing nice about doing this yourself is each piece in here, this one, the inverter, the display, the batteries, you know, all those things are all modular and I can replace them if something goes. My concern with those other ones is if something goes and it's out of warranty, I'm done. You know, you really can't take those things apart. Everything's custom built in there. It all just fits uh, and uh, there's really no way to, to maintain it. So uh, this here to me was just a better option. Um, you know, nice handle on it and carry it around. Uh, you know, take it with you wherever you want to go. I did put some stickers on here to fill up the dead space on the... Uh, on the uh, box itself, but uh, this is it. 300 watt uh, AC, uh, you know, 15, 20 amps DC, uh, and uh, USB chargers, so everything you need to take and, uh, you know, if you're going 10 camp in or whatever. I really built this for my ham radios, uh, you know, in, in an emergency situation where we lost power and I was running an emergency net or something like that, or I was I was taking this to a shelter. I could just grab my box to go here and uh, my radio and be good for a while. Uh, in certain situations, you hook a 100 watt solar panel up this thing and charge it back up. But however you can do it, you can actually plug this thing in. Uh, you've got to plug it into a cigarette lighter in a car and charge it that way as well. So there'll be several ways to charge it. But in any case, uh, thank you again for your time. I'm going to wrap this up. Please like and subscribe.